Hey y'all. So, I'm getting ready to make dinner, and tonight uh, I'm going to make what we call Impossible Helper. So, my ingredients are going to be Impossible Sausage, and make sure that you get the one that says Savory and not Hot on it. I've made that mistake. Oh, the hot or spicy sausage is good. Uh, you got to have a liking for it. So you go, hmm, why is that so spicy? So I'm going to have to put the camera up a little bit. So I'll just march through the ingredients real quick. I'm just popping the, uh, the Impossible Sausage in a pan. I'll show you what it looks like. This is so good. Uh, I can't explain it. Everybody that I fed it to, they didn't even know they were eating vegan food. So... Uh, other ingredients I have, I'm going to do a mixture of noodles. These are just some uh, noodles that we picked up at Winco. We buy them in bulk, and then we have some mini farafowl, farafowl-y noodles, uh, or farafowl noodles. Uh, they're bow ties. So I'm just going to dump those into a pan. I'm going to make quite a bit because I like it left over second day. Uh, for my cheese sauce, I use... The Deluxe Diet Deluxe Cheese Sauce. This is really good. Uh, it thins out nice. I'm going to use some Hunt's Diced Tomatoes, not a lot. Uh, and I thin out my cheese sauce with some organic soy milk. So, so I've got the uh, sausage cooking, and I'll show you that. Let's take a look. The water is boiling. Let me get a big wooden spoon out here. Uh, okay, I guess we'll lose this. So, I didn't preheat the pan for my sausage. So I'm just going to chop that up and let it go. Now you can put anything in here you want, but I'm just going to, I'm not going to add any salt or pepper or anything. I'm just going to let that cook up and it'll crumble up just like normal uh, sausage or hamburger meat. And then I'm just going to plop my noodles in there, get them al dente, and then throw them in a colander with cold water to stop the cooking. All right, so I got everything going. The water is boiling. I'm going to throw a little salt in there. And got a good amount of noodles here. But like I say, I like to eat these on second day and I always make too much anyway. So I'm going to put some of those in there and just a small handful. Maybe a big handful of the bow tie noodles. See a different spoon out for them. Look at me go with two hands. So I leave the sausage in uh, kind of big hunks because Angie doesn't like anything that resembles meat, so she ends up picking it out. So and that's fine. Uh, me, I like the the hardiness of it. And it tastes really good. So I'm just going to let that cook up. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So I would say six minutes on the noodles. Uh, six or seven minutes. We'll see when I get there. So I'm going to go ahead and just, through the magic of time, fast forward when everything is done. Okay, so one extra step I did take is I took the sausage and I put it on a plate with, that was covered with uh, paper towels to absorb any of the excess grease or fat, things that we just don't need. So I did that and squeeze that out. Uh, the noodles seem to be done. So we're going to take the noodles, drain them real quick. And I'm going to, I didn't drain them all because I left a little of the pasta water in there. So just because I like to use a little pasta water when I'm doing that. So here's how easy it is, guys and gals. I put the pasta and the sausage in there. Uh, open up the cheese. It's in the box. I think you get like three cheese packs in here. Uh, rip it apart. Uh, yeah, there's three. And it's a lot. So in, it needs to be thinned out with some milk also. So again, that's why I leave some of the water in there. So, I'm going to drain these because I don't need all the juice now that I have the water. If I was thinking, I could have used 
the water out of the diced tomatoes. I think we will anyway. So I'm going to turn my heat back on medium. I'm going to take and put the cheese sauce in. And, and I'm telling you folks, uh, this is so easy. How easy is it? It's so easy, Sam Buxton could probably do it. So, <laughs> so Sam, if you're out there, give this a try. Let me know if you can make it. Very cheesy. Or, oh, you can't even see it. Let me put that on there. Get this pan out of the way. So the only thing I did was put the cheese sauce in there, put the roasted tomatoes over it, I'm going to put about a quarter cup of milk in there, and I'm going to stir this. Now my heat is going over here, and I did make a lot, so we'll see just how far this cheese sauce goes. Uh, and heating it up with the tomatoes, and the sausage, and just stirring. And it looks like that's pretty much the right amount. So I'll get everything all incorporated so it's even and there's not clumps of cheese and everything else. And I'll just let it sit and simmer for a couple of minutes. And that'll be dinner. I didn't use this whole can of tomatoes, but I surely can because I know Angie will, Angie will eat them all gone. So... And again, we have, you know, our whatever pasta you want to use, uh, the Impossible Sausage this, of the savory variety, Daya Deluxe Cheese Sauce, and, and Daya makes it the Deluxe Cheese Sauce in an Alfredo and in a Cheddar. So this one is a Cheddar, uh, and then I thinned it out with some soy milk. So I'm just going to let that down on two. I'm going to cover it, let it set there, put my spoons over here, maybe clean up a little bit. Now, I know growing up, uh, I was big on Hamburger Helper, any Hamburger Helper, and I just loved it. Uh, it was easy to make, and it was quick, and it was always hearty. Uh, but, being from Pennsylvania, I got a loaf of uh, fresh bread that we made last night. Because nothing goes better with any type of helper than a peanut butter and butter sandwich. And if you're from Pennsylvania, you know if you know, right? So, <laughs> with, what do you eat peanut butter sandwiches with? Chili, hamburger helper, and anything else that comes along. I'll plate this up a little later, and I'll show it to you. So, I'll catch up to you in just a moment. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up. That's what it looked like that's what it looked like on the plate and you know if you know with the crunchy peanut butter so if you like our videos uh, please like and subscribe punch the buttons and again this was so easy Sam Buxton could have made it so but we'll see uh oh she caught me <laughs> so we'll catch you later